Great. How close do you have to be to identify that thing? Uh, about, uh, probably just about, I, I, I'd really need to be in the doorway. Great. I'm Aegis, all right, you know what? I am going to risk it. I, I kind of take a few steps away from Nas away from Nastria and I'm going to try and discern realities. Let's take the risk. Take the plunge. <sighs> Do I have a... Has anyone taken damage since last time? They haven't. Uh, no. We have not taken any damage. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Da taking any damage is a, you know, yeah. scary thing in this scenario. No, Aegis just trying to think. Right. Fucks it. Should yeah, never, should never discern think. reality. Should never try and actually understand a situation ever. Yeah. So, uh, uh, as w with your moment's hesitation, it just appears in front of you, and just immediately goes to like, shh, like just first, just hits you with its body. Aegis. Uh, so. Oh boy, so ignoring armor. Wait, with the body? Oh, there is shit coming out of the body. Yeah. Ignoring armor. Uh, take uh, 11 damage. And this is messy. Messy, messy. Nice. Uh, Time to die. We're not gonna deal in you, I think. I know, I know you don't like limbs on characters. Uh... It was you. Well, it's... That was a catastrophic failure. My issue with it last time was <laughs> it was a 7 to 9 yeah, yeah, like yeah, midway yeah, yeah. through a thing. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Uh, but... We already delimbed the character. And this isn't with the scythe. This is with the short, like, buzz saws. So, I'm gonna say... Uh... It, like, basically, like, shoulder checks you, like, pushing you to the ground and cutting up, like, your, ch cutting up your torso with deep gashes. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna say, like, a deep cut into the bridge of your nose. Ooh. Yeah, oh, no. Aegis just falls yeah. back, screaming in pain and, like, yeah. trying to recover his... Just genuinely shocked and stumbled by that. Yeah, as uh, it then raises its scythe. Okay, that, yeah, Aegis just kind of uh, try clambering to his feet and diving away. Yeah, to, uh, yeah, roll dex. <laughs> All right. He wanted yeah. to be out of there. Yeah, you run away, yeah, as, uh, Nostria, uh, also, like, seeing, having seen it raise its scythe, like, just in the thick of the moment, others like, a quick, just, like, forceful, like, blast spell to, like, knock it away, knock it away a bit, uh, which, you know, gives you even more distance with it, as, uh, now she is the closest thing to it. Shit. As she, uh, tries to, uh, just dash for the, uh, platform. Can so can I in this case? I I, I want to pull a, you know, everyone with me. You can choose to place yourself in grave danger. If you do so, allies gain plus one ongoing on they defy danger moves for ten minutes. And essentially here, I'm just gonna go and try and slow this thing down. You know, as much as I can. Um. So I think in this case, Azorus has said. Like, like you, you can choose, you know, exactly how the danger goes. But Azor's essentially, you know, it's still got a, a a head. You know, it's had it had long hair. Azor wants to essentially run up behind it and just like grab the hair of the body in it and just like pull it back and down. And That's I'll so let right. you. That's I'll let That's I'll let you of... illustrate the. You know. So yeah, you rush up behind it, just not my little girl. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> grab its hair and pull it back. Uh, of course, it has the buzz saws on its back as well, as you pull it into yourself, pretty much willingly. Uh, I'm gonna say, shed off two more points of armor. Ooh, okay, here's the thing. So at this point, I either just... Per my, my main armor 
my like plate armor is permanently destroyed or my shield that jailbird built is permanently destroyed one of these two is going to get permanently destroyed now Wh which do you guys I'd think say, i would say your, your plate armor because it's what you're being pulled it's being pulled yeah. into fair enough all right so yeah yeah and uh of course uh it leaves like deep gashes in like your shoulders and torso uh, mm -hmm. all over your torso uh, in addition to the one that was across your chest uh and like if it like if it like budges it, like if it bucks further into you it could you could be in danger of losing your arm yeah i've got a question with it being pulled back and now on its back with azora holding on is it is it defenseless or surprised it, it uh well, it can't exactly feel surprised. That's yeah. I'm aware of the second one, but I'm aware this thing is pure defenses. But I'm asking for like the purposes of trying to do a cold shot on it. I would say that it probably, you know, while Azura is holding on to it, it can't quite so easily do its like you know warp jump. So in that in that sense, I suppose I'll 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 let you have that. All right. While Nostria gets to look, like suddenly just touches like the platform, studying it relentless, just just looking over it, pouring over her tome as quickly as she can, like hyperventilating. Axe. Yeah, Axe is busy lifting things. Oh God. Yeah, is looking. Who is available? Who is like not actively doing uh, something right this let's moment? Let's see. Uh, let's see, Corum is, uh... Corum's wrangled, moving that guy. the scientist, yeah. Uh, you wanted Jailbird to help him do that. Yeah. So, I guess she... So, Lotus would be available. Yeah, I call Lo Lotus cover. Keep an eye on Nostria. Yeah, Lotus nods. And, um, Aegis is going to, like, raise his rifle, and he's gonna make a cold shot at the armor. I hope this Alrighty. works. Alrighty. Perfect. Oh, no. oh, so, no. arms. Plus, um, oh, as, as 7 to 9, plus your damage. And they drop anything they're holding. Alright. So maybe I, like, shoot the wrist joint and one of its, like, hands loosen. Like, its hands yeah, loosen hand up. Yeah, hand just loosens and it drops the scythe, yes. Yeah. Once again, we have got that kind of thing. And I actually, and yeah. I deal damage. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> That's yeah. one piercing with the, uh... Gun. Yeah, it just sort of like sh shudders a little bit before like resuming, like deciding to like basically raise, like like just like getting ready to like elbow Azora behind her when Nostrea shouts out, "You have to get it in here! If you get it in here, I can dis I can disassemble it." Right, Aegis is gonna grab the scythe. He's gonna grab. He's gonna like run and grab that. Okay. And, and I do Azora, I do shout do? out for Azora. He's going for you. He's going for the elbow. Which gives her a plus one on defy danger to evade it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Azora, what do you do? Um, yeah, essentially going to duck under it. Um, you know, as it's not like I can block it. Uh, you yeah, know. roll decks. Mm hmm And this is Oh thank god. That's actually wait. So that has a plus... That's a 9. Because the plus 1 from Aegis and plus 2 from 3. Hmm. So... Let's see. Uh... Uh... You really are between a rock and a hard place here. I could... Yeah. I could, um... You know what? Could be cheesy. Uh, I could make it a 10. You could? Yeah, I'm gonna spend that gambit and make a result a 10. Alright, yeah. So yeah, she... Yeah, she ducks under it completely, and now, like, yeah, the, uh... The, the suit is, uh... Free of, uh... She's free of the suit. The suit is free of her. Nastreya says that she can dis disassemble it if you manage to get it inside the... The, the room, the plat on the platform inside the room. Uh, I've got a really stupid idea that might kill me. Hmm? Aegis was gonna try and warp the suit. <laughs> oh lord! 
probably oh, won't just... work because he doesn't understand just... how it worked. He barely got <laughs> one off, but he figures, hey, it's all about speed. So what if I just open the portal on the thing? Okay, so you just hmm. want to, like, make it jump. You want to force it to jump forward. Yeah, essentially. Oh, interesting. Uh, with the scythe and all that. Uh, that All right, yo, roll in. Okay, I guess we're in on this. And I have no gambit to make this better with, but that's fine. I'm not sure if there's anyone anyone who could assist me or ah eh, fuck it. Let's just let's just go. <laughs> Seven. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh you like pretty sure like you know how to make it a tear that jumps forward. But to do that, you're going to have to take, you're going to have to go with it and then get the fuck out of there. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Aegis, go Aegis is going all in. Because essentially, yeah. you're, let's, let's, in, the, in my head, this is the way the action goes. Like, she calls out, Aegis is running for the scythe and he just, in the moment, just has that idea and just decides to go for it. So he just like dives, grabs the spear on the way, on the way down and the side on the way down and just fucking tears the ground essentially. Yeah. All like right. Yeah. Right you both the fall. Yeah. You both fall forward and uh, land on on the platform as uh, it just immediately gets up and goes to get its scythe back and uh, eviscerate you. <laughs> yeah, Aegis is gonna pick. <sighs> Oh, we're on it. We're on the circle. We're on this platform, right? Yeah, and there's one doorway leading out where, leading out of it that Nastreya is hanging out, hanging out at. Yeah. Okay. Aegis is just. Aegis is going to basically throw the scythe to the far end of the room. Actually, no. If he get, because if he gets it, then he can just warp right back out. But I'm hoping. Do you think it's worth just throwing it to give myself a momentary distraction? And then just hoping Nastria can do that in time. She seems pretty confident. Yeah, I'll go. I'll trust her confidence. Aegis just basically l tosses the scythe to the far end of the room and then just runs. All right, roll. Runs in. for the door. That is a ten. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you toss it, and yeah, it just does turn around and go to goes to retrieve its weapon. As you rush out the door, and Nastria shouts, like, close the shore behind you! Uh, I do. Yeah, and uh, suddenly, yeah, she uh, puts, puts her hands up, uh, utters, like, an incantation uh, as her, her hands glow and her comb, like, flips around. And suddenly, the circle lights up, the engravings light up as the suit just pauses and, like, looks down. Uh, as, uh, suddenly there's just a magic, just a sudden burst, like a pillar of, of light bursts out of it and uh, bursts out of the, of the ground, uh, leaving, making the, keeping the suits, uh, in, in stasis and moving it towards the center of the circle. Uh, and as the light intensifies, Nostrea, like, buckles, like, keeping herself, trying to keep herself steady. Like, uh, hyperventilating all the way through, and suddenly the light just shine like the light pillar just finishes shooting up, and the suits, the suits' blades all just fall out of it, the energy gone, and the entire thing just falls apart. Okay. That's uh, and yeah, and the, the guy's body is, uh, just, just, of course, falls with it. We did it. We got it. Is it dead? We, we got it. It's it's gone. It's it's a, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Oh my God, your, oh your nose. Um, keep it. Get you know, check Azora first. She's yeah. Me meanwhile, Azora does just like seeing it's sort of you know defeated. Just just sort of slowly nod and you know like hair matted with blood like her you know armor all stripped off her torso just sort of like a bloody tattered mess you know across the front gashing her soul you know i, I don't know if the leg still maintains or quite uh, over 
it starts to dissipate. But yeah, just... the lag dissipates as the fight's over. Yeah. The spirits see that their job is done. Yeah, and just, you know, like, blood, you know, like, just dropping out of the stump, and just as Zora nods, like, you did good. And then just collapses, like, on her face oh, in a God. quickly growing pile puddle of blood. We better, oh, hope those, we better hope those soldiers don't come back. We better go uh, get Azora. Yeah, Make sure yeah, she's alright. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nasuya immediately rushes over and just like, just frets, frets. Uh, just sort of like, puts her hands on Azora. Just, no, 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 And, uh, her, like, pours in enough, uh, healing magic to stop major bleeding. Yeah. Nice. All right. I can I can still be unconscious if you want. Like yeah. I, I'll, I'll let that be up to you. But I, I I think that works thematically if Azor is just like out a now. Aegis yeah. is just really sense. woozy, but he's kind of like working his way back to the main room, just looking over everything. And then he calls over calls over Axe. Uh, Axe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Axe is carrying the big tube. He's got. Uh, Wait, how do I spit this in here? Just get it to the nowhere if you think that's evidence, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I no, he's getting it to the nowhere. Grab any. You're in charge of the team for the moment. Don't make me Wait, regret. What? Don't make me regret that. I'm just too kind of messed up to really think on my feet right now. Just any scientists or soldiers that are hanging around around the city or outside, take it, take them prisoner. Get them on nowhere. Any files, okay. any anything. Get as much as you can, get on the nowhere. This is how we're gonna find Gamble. Let's just do it. Make sure everything's in how order. Are we gonna find can you repeat that to, to me to him as if he hears it in his head, Snake? This is how we're gonna find Gamble. This is how we're gonna find Gamble. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Axe is like Okay, and he <laughs> and also that I have to say, uh, Aegis just kind of like falls on his ass, like just kind of falls backwards because he is covered in blood as well. Yeah, like his face is just red. Well, the lower end of his face is just red. His torso is shredded. The things I do. Yeah. So yeah, Axe, you're just gathering up like the like files and like. Markings of like Gamble or Ridgeco that you would yeah, recognize. No. Yeah, he does it with really big gusto. Just like you're surprised yeah. how fast he is. As Lotus and Nostria carry uh, Aegis and the Zora back to the nowhere. So, uh, yeah, as you uh, are walked back, uh, Aegis, uh, you see. Uh, Reyna, uh, just sort of standing outside the nowhere, uh, like, tapping her foot, like, looking, like, wide-eyed, just kind of looking, like, freaked out a little bit. And she sees you, is like, oh my god, you too? Yeah. Everyone's covered in blood. Coram ran in here with some... Oh my god. Don't worry, that blood wasn't his. Uh, Zora got the worst Shh. of it again, I see. I told her to back down, but I knew she wouldn't. Yeah, and that's wow. Was like, I, I stopped. Hey, come on, let's make that a character moment. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> right. I, I, got, I got the her bleeding. I, I managed to keep her uh, stop her from bleeding uh, all of her blood out, but um, there's uh, the, she's missing um a leg, and uh, I think uh. A, a, she, she's she's technically she doesn't have uh, her art. Uh, we need to get her somewhere. Agus, yeah, Agus nods. We get the files. We get whoever we can, and we move out of here. By tomorrow, we're not in this p lawless part of the city anymore. We get found in the state we're in. It won't go great. But we need to clear out that lab. That's what we came we came here for. If we don't get what they were trying to destroy, this was all for nothing. Right, yeah, Coram walks out, still just front covered in blood, sees, oh shit. Well, you're all alive, right? Yeah. 
I'm going up to the I'm going up to the driver's seat. I'm gonna move this closer to the little breach we made to make it easier. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, you need. Uh, I'll go collect things. Yeah. Be be sure to collect like whatever scraps of Azora's you know gear yeah. left behind. You can be sure to pick up the leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not sure if we can reattach it, but you know. That... Probably not, but if not, hey, Jailbird has, like, cybernetic arms, you know, she could probably, like, yeah. make me something. Turn Short Short into a peg leg! <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Every That's time. a great idea! Okay, so, yeah, uh, Axe, you have Corum helping you out with gathering evidence. Uh, the tube, the gigantic tube will not fit in the nowhere. I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't it fit in the nowhere? The gigantic test tube. Can we put it Hold on it. the roof? Yes, exactly. I could actually just go and put it on the roof. Tie it over on the roof? Okay. Yeah, yeah, like a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just tie it down up there. Actually, Axe is going to look in. Does he see anything in there? Yeah, uh, no, no. It's just filled with, like, liquid, like that, a green liquid. And, uh,. Cora bringing Ask. bringing over like some papers just looks at looks up and just says, "Don't you think that's a bit conspicuous?" No, Axe came out of one of these. Conspicuous is what we want. No, I mean in terms of it being on our vehicle. As we leave. That's the point. What else are we gonna do with it? Um. Well, we have other evidence. We could just smash it. Yeah, probably sure they can't the... use it again. No. Oh. Well, probably for if, the best if, if we got if we got other evidence. Yeah. Wait, all right. Wait. Wait. If if it needs smashing, Axe will do wait, it. Wait. Wait. Hang on one second. Aegis just like swivels in his chair to like turn it, to look at the two. We're already in a vehicle. And the most wanted people in that's been spotted in this part of the city, and the most wanted people in here. How much more conspicuous can we be? That's a good. P so, anyway, we got all the files. We got everything we can use. I think. Uh, yeah. Actually, I found something that I think is pretty damning. That's good. Lay it on me. Um. Right, so, uh, one of the, uh, one of the, probably, I guess the thing they were, uh, looking for, specifically, because it was, uh, locked behind several different things, but this is a very fancy piece of paper. And, uh, he holds it up, and, uh, you see it's, uh, it's a contract. Uh, of uh, an agreement of just, just just sort of an agreement between uh, the <clears throat> between uh, the b between uh, several people in their official capacity, as, not in their official capacity, but it's an agreement uh, basically uh, to house uh, Doctor Gamble. All right. Written a confirmation Ooh. of where he was. Yeah. We gotta get this to. We gotta get this to the, to our contact at Dreambit. At at Harapool. Yeah, we got. Yeah. All right, we're getting back. I guess we'll. We'll get us back to the. I'll get us back to the to the garage. <clears throat> All right. So this means he was here. Yeah. Which means they probably know where he is. Possibly. Unless he went totally off the grid, which... Let's just hope not. And, uh... After, uh, some... Speaking, uh... The scientist is willing to talk. Perfect. Uh, the soldier... Uh... Has not said anything. Oh, no, 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 there is no soldier. Never mind. The soldier got shredded. I forgot. Yeah, about soldier that. got annihilated. He's yeah, not, the well, soldier is currently being worn yeah. by Corum. 
Yeah, okay. Right. So, yeah, you have your stuff. All right. Job well done. Job well done. So, let's Bravo. take a uh, break. Let's break. Nice. Break. Take a, take a bit of a break. Break, break, break. Like, let's nice. break down. Team. Yeah. I can't walk. Okay, cool. So, Jesus. Uh, yeah. Snake, you, Snake, you really should consider just doing voice acting as, as a grunt. So, uh, Ig, yes. Uh, Jailbird comes out of the building now. And mm. she says, Ah, uh, Chief, something else you should know. What's that? Uh, you see her come out, and uh, she's carrying the body of the guy in the suit. It says, This one's still alive. Aegis, yeah, he gets up, he stumbles over as, as Is he more as he or can. less alive than Azora? Tight. Yeah, Aegis stumbles over to her. Uh... I imagine yeah, she, she's, she's... Ca is she carrying him, you say, or... Uh, yeah, like, like in her, yeah, in, in, in the... In robo her underarm. Arms. Yeah. In her robo underarm. Yeah, she got him, like, sort of, like, she's kind of dragging him. Yeah, he just stumbles over. Okay. Uh, he's like, he's unconscious. Yeah. Uh, he's got some, uh... You poked, a f you poked some shallow holes in him. <clears throat> but... Is... Aegis looks him over, like, for damage from short short or anything. Yeah, uh, there's, like... It looks like his, like, he's incredibly bruised up, like, in, like, his, uh... Like, as far as, like, his torso. Okay. Time, time up. And, like, he's gonna talk. Then, like, scorch marks on, like, his face. Yeah, I can... So, not... He's in better state than us all consider. That suit did do him some favors. Yeah, Aegis just looks at Jailbird. Have him tied up. Should we put him in with the, uh, with the others? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sort of, uh... Yeah, pulls him, pulls him and, uh, gets tying him up. Meanwhile, uh, Zora is laid out on, uh, Reyna's bed. While, uh, Nastrea looks to see, to see, like, if there's any further stabilizing to do. I think Aegis just bandages himself up so he's no longer yeah. profusely bleeding everywhere. Bandages his nose together. Yeah. I'm not, I'm only doing that narratively because I don't actually have bandages. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So he doesn't heal ha anything, has anyone... he's not, but he's not trailing blood everywhere. Has yeah. anyone asked Nostraya if Azora's leg can be reattached, or is that a lost Yeah, cause? I think that's, uh, Aegis does, like, go over um, to Azora and just looks between Jailbird and Nostraya. I think there's Arena anything that we... Nostraya? Um, well, he kind of gets Jailbird, because oh, kind of figures... Oh, Jailbird, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that could be done for uh, Azora's leg? Uh... Nastria just like wipes her brow and says, "Uh, I, I, I kind of cast my net a little wide in terms of magic. That's a little too specialized. In uh, actually, I might. I don't know. It. I've never done reattachment before. It's your call. If you think it's too risky, we won't do it. Jailbird, you've got your, you've got those robotic limbs. Uh, yeah, but these are uh." I wear these. They're not attached to my uh, nervous system. Yeah. Nostra, do you know it's anyone? It's still who... a usable prosthetic. <laughs> do you know anyone who might be of, who might be able to do a reattachment? Uh, I. Well, the master's all the way back in Seneca. How long do we have? Um, let's see. He he had taught me that uh, the best of the healing, the best healing mages can uh, reattach a limb uh, within within uh, two hours or three or three days if it's put on ice. Oh no! Do we have ice? 
We don't have free. We don't have free. We don't have free days. That said, stupid idea, but we might go with it. I could stay here and finalize what we know on Gamble. Hand we take everything off the thing. The rest of you go back. The rest of you drive down to Seneca, and if you can get there in three days, you can get the Legri attached. That's assuming oh, your master no. is the best. Maybe One we can pay out. Maybe we could pay out for a warp. A warp. Well, I I I I I know they have those here. They they they've. I saw I saw I saw it when I when we went out of town. When I was looking out at everything, they had one one of those companies had an advertisement. Right. Okay. We'll get. We're gonna send. We'll send her back through that and get her leg reattached. But we've got it right. Okay. Like Agus looks at um Jailbird. Uh, we, uh, Coram grabbed it, uh, All right. we should get ice, I guess. Yeah, Coram, put that leg on ice. We don't have ice. Nostraya just, just like, okay, I, I can do that, I can do that. I can cast, I, I, I can cast Conjure Ice, I can do that. Okay, great. And yeah, she uh, We're gonna head back into like town. We're gonna head back into town. Who wants to, who wants to take... Azora back to Seneca. Or well, Nostria is obviously going. Oh, we're not all go what about you, I guess? I thought are you staying here? If we're war if we're warping, then it makes sense for some of us to remain here. Well, we have three days, uh Raina says. Uh we you should we should you should see how quickly that uh how how quickly this rich co thing takes care of itself. Right, but if we're attacked again, then well, we wouldn't have a Zora either again, way. You probably shouldn't be in Emberwell alone. Right. Okay. Let's head back to the. Let's and head back to the. Is, you, and it's also a question to you, like: Is it worth trying to go down to Seneca to have it reattached? Like, maybe it is just better trying to get a prosthetic. I mean, even beyond Jailbird, we are like <clears throat> in Emberwell too. We'll no, see. Should... Uh, yeah, that's no. the point. We might be able to talk with the dream bit guys. See what they can conjure. Yeah, Aegis is gonna drive back to the drive back to the parking lot. Alright. Granted, how how thing is there driving back out of the war zone? Like what does it look like on yeah. the perimeter of that zone? Right. Uh so you're just sort of like making your way like out of the perimeter of the lawless zone then. Yeah. The yeah. I'm assuming in leg mode for uh, X patrol. Yeah. So yeah, as you're approaching the border uh, of it, uh, you see that uh, <clears throat> uh, you see you're approaching like a road out, like you're approaching what looks like like a road stop with yeah. uh, like just some Nemo lookouts. They they aren't armed. But they see you approaching, and they just kind of look down. Yeah, Aegis just keeps going. He just keeps... Yeah. He just goes up to the road stop and just sees if they clear. No, yeah, they, they just silently get out of the way. They look, they look defeated. Yeah, Aegis keeps going. Right. And yeah, like, after a few minutes, like, you're in... You're, you're like, through like the transitionary area, like you're in like, you're in like a, a, an actual di you're in like a, a busier district where there are some people where you know there are just every you know citizens kind of going about uh talking to each other uh working on things and uh yeah the, the, in fact like like they all like look at you coming out of there and like they uh a, a few of them look at you coming out of there and like start like mutter and start like talking to each other. Nice. Uh, one of them sort of like waves at you. Yes, he just waves back. Uh, and like starts like shouting out like, "Hey, hey, what happened in there? Did you come from there?" Yeah. Uh, they cord they cordoned it off. What bunch of explosives? Are they just doing construction or what? Something like that. Jeez, no one ever tells me anything in this damn city. So, 
so yeah, people. Yeah, you could just get yeah. So yeah, people like just in the immediate area just think that like <clears throat> Nemo like cordoned off the area and F uh, like for like you know heavy construction. Hmm. And that was all that. That's what all the noise was. Interesting. Interesting. But what if? So yeah, you make your way through the city with pretty much yeah, no one. You don't seem to, you don't seem to notice anyone tailing. It. Like no, like there's not really any like, you know, like the heat is pretty clearly off. Now that you're out of there. Yeah, we just go back to the to the garage and yeah, I Dream Bits garage. Yep. We had a what was the name of our contact in Dream Bit? The one I had the paper thing with. In Dream Bit, it was Hendrix. Yeah, I write to Hendrix saying, you know, just we're back. Got details. Got people. Right, yeah. Just ask, should I come? Should I come meet? Yes. All right. Yeah. Said he'll he'll be there uh, after the business day is done. All right. Yeah. So I guess we're just sitting and waiting. Yeah, you've got probably like an hour. Yeah, I think Aegis During just... During which time, I imagine Azoro probably wakes. Probably begins to Yeah, stir. fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, is like anyone like around when Azora eventually wakes up? Yeah, you've got Reyna there. Yeah. Uh, and Nostria looking over you. Reyna, uh, just uh, like as you wake up, you wake up to like the smell of soup. Oh hell's yeah! Yeah, she was like, it was all worth it. <laughs> yeah, you just got like she hobbles over on her one good leg. Yeah, yeah, just like sort of like, just just like just a sort of like a tray with like a bowl of soup there, and as like you stir, she begins to stir. You just hear Rana say, "Told you would wake her up." And yeah, That's like Azora's first words waking up. That smells good. That's, yeah, I think it's uh. I put in, uh, since it was just for you, I managed to go ahead and uh, put in all the things that the others can't handle. I think Aegis is just kind of like sitting sitting nearby, just kind of like, looks kind of disaffected, looks kind of out of it, I suppose. A bit disappointed. Hmm. So yeah, Azor Azora tries to sit up as best she can to, you know, take some soup. Yep. Yeah. I I take it it is just you know very very spicy. Yes. Yeah, Azora is absolutely all about it. She takes a few right. you know cautious sips and then is soon like basically just draining the bowl. That didn't go as well as it should have done. What happened after I passed out? When did when did she pass out? Was it it was after the it was after the thing was brought pretty much the, right yeah. after yeah, yeah. It, it, that yeah, was okay. the color of white. We, we, we grabbed it. yeah okay just forgot that bit. We gra we grabbed what we could and we got out. No one stopped us on the way here except to ask what was happening. <laughs> as far as the rest of the city is concerned, that was just Nemo construction, which did is good. Did anyone for get hurt? We all did. I well, you know. As far as I'm aware, no one got hurt. We got a scientist, yeah. and we've got the, we've got the guy who was piloting the suit. He didn't die. In fact, considering really? he considering he took several blasts from Short Short, he's only covered in bruises. Whatever tech they've got there is frightening. Shame we couldn't salvage the armor. That would have been useful, especially since I don't think there's any salvaging what I was wearing. We'll get it repaired. Well, we'll get something new. Yeah. But, no. I didn't command that as well as I should have done. No, it was... We, we didn't know he had that kind of mobility. That mm. changed things, and... Did well adapting to the circumstances. And you did well. I will admit, when I told you to step down, I knew you wouldn't. Just didn't want him 
to hurt anyone else, no matter what it took. I hope the technology of this city stays in these walls. We can't fight things like that forever. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, I guess we'll do whatever damage we can. Hold it back a little. Yeah, oh yeah. And th that's probably about the point when Azora sort of sits up a bit more and realizes, yeah. oh wait, oh yeah, that that kind of took off my leg. <laughs> yeah. We and Azora to... does just, like, sort of pull the blanket back a bit and just... Oh. Yeah. As far as your leg goes... Well, that's... That's career-ending, as it goes for a soldier, and I don't imagine you're the kind of person who would want to step down. I've I've seen, you know, a mercenary or two that had a egg leg, and, you know, and, um, yeah. and, so that, saw, and Jailbird, she has those that artificial brings, arms that are far beyond anything in my country. And that brings us to our options here. Nostrea was saying that we could have a reattachment done, though there's a time window on that. We got three days before your, before that leg probably can't be salvaged. So we can try and wrap up our business here as quickly as possible and get get what get as many of us available as we can warped to Seneca, and then the rest will regroup thereafter. Because I don't think we can teleport the. Nowhere. Or... We'll try and wrap things up here if we can. If we have enough time to save the leg, we save the leg. Otherwise, prosthetic. If we can get yeah, any even just a peg leg. If we can get something so that I can move around. Well, I hear I have this, media. and Aegis produces a peg leg that's inc incredibly fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh wow! You made that? How long was I out? I couldn't have been out that long. That's so impressive. That is resourceful. <laughs> also, I love this wooden I... things that Aegis is familiar with. So, it does raise the question: Why is he familiar with peg legs? I mean, he's been on the road, you know. Traveling around and fishing village, you know, there are shark attacks. People lose limbs. Mm. Like sailors, come on, it was a fishing village. Sailors are famous for their peg legs. True. So, question. Yeah. You've got uh the scientist, uh the guy from the guy in the scythe suit, uh Skinner and the other uh Richco guy that axe broke his uh shattered his fist. Yeah. And uh, the uh, shrinking guy, did, did, do you have him in the same room? Um, did you? Uh, I kind of forgot uh, about the shrinking guy. To, have you let him go back to full size to just tie him up and put him back in, and put let's him in the room? Let's say, with the others, let's or? say, yes, we've got them all bound. And I'm going to say, right. and I'm going to say, I'm going to be cheesy about this that I have Axe and someone else on duty for them because we're right. right near the finish line on this one. Right. Not just carrying shrinking guy around in your pocket this whole time. Not not pulling the Chad move of just having a tiny man in my pocket. <laughs> <The> Chad move. <laughs> pocket oh, man. Oh, 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 oh hey, get... we got all these like deep injuries. Like, hey, you couldn't <laughs> ask for a better surgeon. Oh. Oh, actually, guys, if if Axe is gonna be forced to watch this guy, I want to do a thing. Uh, what? Oh no. I wanted to use it earlier this game, but I couldn't. So I'm going to use Intimidate <laughs> on him. Nice. Uh, I just one? feel like it. <laughs> the guard. Oh no, I thought you said I was watching well, We've got a scientist, we've got bruised man, we've got, we've got bruised man who was wearing the murder suit, we've got tiny man, and we've got crushed fist guy, the one that you crushed. Okay. And Skinner. And Skinner. <laughs> The guy who got me mm. high on a rooftop and nearly had me fall to my death. Um, oh, which and one also, no team? one likes him. And scientists already said he would talk. Okay. Yeah, no need to intimidate yeah. him. He's he's gonna. Axe, Axe, Axe goes over to the guy. He crushed his hand. Would you, will you talk? Uh, 
I said all I can already. Max, <laughs> Max is gonna lean in and use. I'm gonna use intimidate strength. I'm not. I'm not rage stuff. <laughs> I actually, did, I didn't release my fury. I could release my fury and. I'm pretty sure you had to release your fury in the hours. Yeah, I'll, no. I'll come, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, but yes, give me a second. So you defuried off screen, deraged off screen. Yeah, then I'm gonna mark your action because raging recovery. But yeah, he's gonna <coughs> be yeah. in and just roll strength to intimidate him. Oh, what? I crossed this guy's hand. Uh, all right, listen. Uh, you. I, I didn't do. I I I already told you everything. No, no. I'm sorry. I got. Sh I'm sorry. I got shrunk, and no, tried no, 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 to yeah. take advantage of it. I I, I panicked. And oh, no, I'm, frankly, I'm talking, to, I'm talking to a guy. Is this the guy who I whose hand I crushed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, He's okay. saying. He's, I'm okay, sorry. Yeah. I got. Sh I'm sorry. The shrinking man took in, <laughs> and tried yeah. to and tried to yeah yeah and tried to take oh, advantage okay. of That's it. Exactly. But frankly, I I'm looking around the room. I've seen that guy cut dozens of people in two with one stroke. I, 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 I'm just kind of freaking out that I'm in the same room as him right now, even if he is unconscious. No, he took away his armor too. Yeah, he's not wearing we destroyed his armor. His armor and so... Axe, Axe is not happy. Axe just goes, bah! Bah! Turns around. Bah, ridiculous. A dog in a barrel. <laughs> a dog in a barrel? Dick's oh, have nice. you not seen... Have you not seen... Namor. No, he's seen it. <laughs> um, well... Post you, know, Ax, you know, Axe is gonna do... Hey, we have Skinner. Axe is gonna lean into him and ask, Are you gonna talk? I've... I've spoken... Every, I, I've... I've been speaking, man. I mean, like... I can talk more, but Good. I don't know what else I got. Oh, you know what you got. We should hire Skinner uh, full time. He's a fun guy. No. You right? Axe Ax is using his power as the one of the fur, fur, three founders and vetoing it. <laughs> you just veto that as Aegis is downstairs sipping coffee and thinking, we should hire Skinner full time. <laughs> I don't know why I think this. God damn it, man! Oh man, I want to intimidate people. You know, fuck it. Axe is going to intimidate Skinner. <laughs> Axe is just gonna get bored and come and intimidate Azora and Reyna. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm intimidating Skinner to just t telling him. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> right, man. Listen, I, I, I said I'm, I'm said I'm speaking. All right, I'm speaking. And uh, listen. That guy knocked out. I've seen. I, I I've seen him just walk into people and they turn into blood dust. No. Frankly, you're not the scariest person in this room. <laughs> we have him tied up here. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, he scares me more. The people who beat him, you are less scary than him. That's it. Axe is gonna look. Axe to is the gonna guy beat him to up. death. <laughs> no, the guy is tied up. Yeah. <coughs> He's got Axe is gonna Axe is gonna start slapping him to wake him up. Yeah, he's uh He might have been stirring, but you knocked him out again. <laughs> Axe just tosses him to the side. He's he's not a happy axe. This is this this is not going his way. Why why isn't it going my way? <laughs> can't can't be happening. <laughs> okay, so uh I'm in charge here. <laughs> yeah, uh Hendrix shows up. You're literally not in charge here, I am. Uh actually no, how about did you want Hendrix to like maybe did you want to meet up with Hendrix alone, or did you want him to bring uh, your Harapool contact? He can bring the Harapool contact for me as yeah, well. Yeah, Calderon. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, bring Calderon. Yeah, Hendrix and Calderon both knock on the door to the nowhere. Aegis opens up, covered in bandages. Yeah, and... yeah Calderon. Yeah, Hendrix's like, oh man. And Calderon's like, ooh. 
You did it. Someone did a number on you. Nemo just turned a big chunk of this city into a war zone and we just went through it. I'm kind of amazed that we're all alive right now. Oh, I thought they were doing construction. That's what the story will be. For a little while, anyway. Well, uh, did you, did you get that evidence? Yeah, come on in. I'll show you. We got we grabbed a bunch yeah. of files, and we've got a scientist, and we've got a guy wearing the most dangerous suit of armor I'd ever seen. <laughs> Me, Axe is sitting in the corner muttering something like, "My armor, Axe is intimidating." Axis Basically, Aegis runs them through the series of, of bewildering events they just went through. Is Azora there? I imagine. Yeah. I, okay. I, 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 I was. I wasn't. Yeah. Using um, that fancy peg leg that that Corum made or Corum Corum that Aegis made for taking her. taking credit yet again. Elves God. can't trust them. Okay, so yeah, as you're like explaining all this, like you're just like, they're both just sort of like nodding slowly. Uh, Calderon, <coughs> uh, looking like, uh, uh, Calderon looks, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hendrix is just sort of like, like, in awe at like how far they've been. Nemo has apparently been going with this, and Calderon looks high. <laughs> <laughs> We also And then um... <laughs> I after he threw me across the street and I crashed through the window, I was lit on fire and kicked back, and then Axe grabbed me and <laughs> threw me back, and then I was kicked back again, but it I was... stabbed him, then I got thrown back again. Then I was that that big vehicle behind us, then that ran me over. Um and then let's see, uh then things got a lot worse after that. <laughs> Which, who found that contract? Uh, that was Corum. Yeah, okay, I guess just kind of, like, puts the, like, slides out the contract. Corum, Corum found this. No, I know he's yeah. an elf, but I've decided <laughs> to trust him that this is... <laughs> okay, yeah, Hendrix, uh, yeah, takes it up and looks it over and says, This is an agreement to asylum. What the hell? They were Shelter and Gamble at some point. You there's your, there's the smoking gun. This can this is not binding with a dark firm. Those don't legally exist. Someone put their name on the line. And like he's reading it. And they encrypted it. They encrypted it. Yeah, this is a way this is a way of uh keeping contracts contracts uh secretive so that uh, only the only the signatories can uh can read right that seems like a very awkward way to handle a contract uh it's usually not done well, it's only ever usually done there's like a serious company secret that's involved is there any way to decrypt that uh let's see if it's emo that did it then uh, actually, yeah, he fishes out like a pen and like talks to Calderon, like exchanges like a few words with Calderon, who uh, scratches his head and uh, thinks on it uh, and then snaps his fingers and just says, "You still got?" Uh, and snaps his fingers and says, "Hey, you, 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 you know a guy from Nemo? You, you, you know, you, you're, you're actually friends with uh, uh, Skinner, ain't you, uh, uh, Hendrix?" Immediately just sighs and says, told you, a dozen times, friend is a strong word. Right now he's all uh, hostage, but hey. Oh, you... he is! Yeah, don't well, worry. That... You can be him. more honest with hostages than friends. I'll grab him then. Alright. Yeah, he gets like, heads upstairs. <laughs> No, uh, no, he's in the uh, he's in oh, the yeah. storage, which is down yeah, there. okay, yeah, does it. Yeah, yeah, he just goes and grabs Skinner, just tied up. Hey, you'll be useful. Ah, oh, again? Oh man. If, how many times do I have to be useful before I'm uh, not stuck in a room with uh, the rest of? The when we're done. 
Uh, Wait, who's okay. saying that? Skinner. 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 Yeah. Of course. Skinner? <clears throat> yeah, Skinner just goes up. Skinner sees Hendrix! Hendrix, you're here! Oh my god, you can't then Hendrix just shut up. I'm not, I'm not here to take you away. Just Ugh. Damn, Skinner complaining after being treated so well. He's survived a war zone thanks to us, yeah. even though we brought him to it. <laughs> so yeah, they placed like the pen in the uh, Skinner's hand and struck him on writing something down next to next to like a piece of paper. And uh because he is still technically an executive of Nemo, uh the thing it decrypt. Can't and, believe uh, it. Skinner just goes, See? I did it again. I was helpful again. I think I deserve to be tied up upstairs. <laughs> Wait, you want to be tied up? You I'm have... sure he thinks he deserves to be tied Vegas up. Vegas just but... kind of like pats him on the back and goes, you're such a humble prisoner. After all, you just incriminated your company. Uh, uh, you know, I... The, uh, the job market's crazy right now. Um... Yes, with the with the bore and all. All right, Axe, could you tie this guy up? Don't destroy him. Okay, Axe is gonna say though. Axe is gonna really, really tie it. Re yeah, Axe just ties it really hard though. Oh, so it's oh god. Okay, please just 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 put me upstairs. Just, I don't want to be in the room with 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 with. I don't want to be in the room with that guy. Please. All right, throw him what? in the. Wait. No. What do we have upstairs where we could actually keep a prisoner? You have the library. People use the no, library to relax. You can't relax in a library with a prisoner in it. We could strap him to the roof with <coughs> luggage. Wait, That's wait, really wait. mean. Wait, <laughs> he says to about the guy he has tied up we'll in, put him in the bathroom. We need to use the bathroom. We can't just shuffle him out every time. Put him in the cockpit. I'm in there. So is Jailbird. So back in the thing, he goes. Yeah, he gets ah. just. We so... could just shrink him and put him in the cupboard. It's a really interesting thought. Of just a his puts right. on the fairy armor to shrink him down and put yeah. him somewhere if else. He, all right, yes. As you're taking him to the store, Jesus says, "If if if that guy wakes up, I'm gonna scream." No, you're yeah, not. And Axe, yeah, well, Axe, no, 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 no. Oh, no, Axia says, no, you're not. And he shoves a sock in his mouth. <laughs> wow! I was just going to say, Axe, it would be beneficial if he screams. But you know, do you. If, if, if this guy's into, like, some of the, like, bondage or humiliation stuff, I, you know, that's concerning, because we've given him a lot of material if that's the case. <laughs> He's really gonna Axe. burst out of his ropes. <laughs> Wait, does he? Does he yeah, he's gonna be bursting does some he, ropes. Does he just tell X that we? That ropes he, is the uh... most disgusting term. Does X? Does he just tell us really? that like we need it. to hear him? What? No, Aegis does doesn't that. hear that. Let's just make this scene harder on ourselves. Yeah. He just and he tosses and puts him in the shooting rope is just such an awful <laughs> phrase. It's... I love. I, I I always hear it as blasting rope. <laughs> really, I hear shooting <laughs> rope more than blasting rope. I, like I've heard both, but I think shooting rope. Oh, I I, I, I just the first time I heard the term was in was in reference to blasting rope to Waluigi. Oh, and porn. if you're wondering what. <laughs> 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 sorry, you're wondering what uh, Axe got the socks from. Sorry, I guess Axe stole a pair of yours. Wow, you Axe is fucked up. I didn't realize you were just mm, not good. No, it's boring. Actually, no, it's not yours. It's it's um. There's no one you can it. say on the ship that will make this not fucked no, up. No, 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 no. <laughs> he, he just took it from the scientists. That's still fucked up. <laughs> <coughs> Less fucked up. What did he take from the scientists? Their socks. That is fucked up. 
I feel like it's not that fucked up if it's Lotus. I don't think that's fucked up with Lotus. I, I don't think, think Lotus it is. wears it. It's wear the sandals. least fucked up with Lotus. No, I don't think Lotus even wears those, though. I mean, fair. I think it's most fucked up with, like, Reyna. I think on a scale, you know. What, what affects the scale here? Like, it, whose socks he would be taking? To use as a gag for Skinner. Why I, th I agree that it's real? fucked up for everyone, but I think just because that like feels horny, just because Reyna's wow, like babe. the hot lady in the crew. That's wow, like babe. I that's got to be some weird kink shit, you know? Em, I think it might just be you. Ow. No. I mean, Axe is the I one out we... here stealing socks. Perry. Yeah. Pot. Rating M, the I sock think it drawer. Just, M, I think it might just be you. <laughs> I guarantee you it's again. not. I don't know why I'm giggling to myself, even though I hate this sentence and don't want to say it. I want to hear it. Axe <laughs> blasting rope into the sock drawer. <laughs> <laughs> just plastering it. It's the worst string of words. I mean, just <laughs> using a cum sock, it's it's not big enough for Axe's <laughs> rope. You know, at his size, he's all, you know, <laughs> when he gets enraged, like, you need a whole drawer's worth of cum socks. Okay, okay, yeah. To catch the, the, that the, rope. The, this, this tweet, the, 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 that, that's the context <laughs> that I first heard the phrase. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I have seen this tweet <laughs> Blasting rope to Waluigi had died <laughs> Yeah, blasting rope is good. I I need to like use that over more instead of I always say shooting rope. I need to. <laughs> you always say shooting rope. That that I don't know. That's just what I default to. All right, oh, let's see you fucking use. <laughs> let's continue. Yeah. So. Uh... <laughs> Axe gags him because he yeah. So want the, the yeah. so, so uh the the uh it, the the paper decrypt. And uh, Hendrix like looks in. Oh my god! And Calderon takes a look and says, "Ooh, wow." Uh, Miller Miller signed this. Who's Miller? Who's Miller? A pretty high-ranking uh, guy at Nemo. He uh, head of R and D. R in D, R and D, research, research and, and development. development, murder. murder. Why does Aegis know that? Why wouldn't he? <laughs> he's saying he's he's saying he's just he's saying he's uneducated. He's saying he's I, just I, an idiot. Yes. I I, I want to know where he's yes. encountered a research. And oh, is this like a spout law before. thing? Yeah. <laughs> Someone in um the summer swords had an R and D department. <laughs> <laughs> We researched new ways to stab bandits. It didn't go very far. No, uh, Azora, Azora, like, pulls out her notebook and flips to some of her earlier entries from Hemlock and says, yeah, met him before. We've see? Met. See? We've met this guy. Yeah. One of our first... Well, it wasn't a job, but well, I guess it was. Yeah, Calderon Working. pipes up. He's a real killjoy, ain't he? Mm. Gonna when be we were and... working for those musicians outside Tensus, oh, and they tried to test arm. It was the first time I ever heard the name Nemo when they tried to test arms. Stopped the guy trying to test it on those civilians and stole the weapon, but. Miller was the one who was leading them and surrounded us and negotiated taking that rifle back. I always regretted letting him have it. 
Well, we might run into him soon, soon enough. Yeah, Calderon like turns to Hendrix and just whispers, <clears throat> like, 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 just whispers, <clears throat> uh, "Did you know they had a mine?" Had a what? A mine at Morricone. Oh. Why, yes, I did, good sir. I do, I do, 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 did, did. Uh, and, yeah, anyway, yeah, then he just, like, clears his throat and says, Well, mm, uh, we are, uh, the meeting of the board is tomorrow. So, uh, Mr. Harapool will be there as well, uh, and I will be there as part of the uh, entourage. Uh, and I think... Miller is usually uh, around those meetings as well. So this would be perfect to confront them with if we want to just call them out there. What do we do? Uh, well, you'll be testing on it, I guess. Right. Uh, especially if they, uh, Test if we know that they were, uh, especially if, if we know that they've been, uh, active. Especially if we know that they've been act that Nemo people have been acting in their official capacity to cordon off a whole area. Axe will not be test again. Testi huh? Testimony it means we'll talk. Oh. But yeah, we will do have a test subject of this. Will it will it screw over do the pe those people? It would help. Axe is in. All right. Hey, right. gonna take down, slow down a peg, maybe a few pegs, maybe all the pegs. Oh man, not till solves them about this one. What peg? Uh, second definition in the dictionary. No, first. What's a dictionary? You can buy one at a store. Why? It'll help you. What is a big dictionary, though? It tells you what words are. Can't you just tell me what words are? Eh, I mean, yeah, but I can't be around here, around you forever. Okay, it's good. It's okay. Axcotegis and uh, Sora. We're not dictionaries. In well, yeah. any case, uh, I am going to go tell Salzen that we are going to, uh, Take down a dark company at the meeting tomorrow <clears throat> and secure you as a uh, attendee. If you can get any leads on, well, I suppose we'll be we'll be there for part of it, but we need leads on Gamble. Well, uh, that can pro we we can put we can work that into the retribution. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, in the meantime, just. Stay here, and uh, Hendrix will probably take you there, and I'll meet you there, and uh, I'll introduce you to Salzen, and uh, we'll have a we'll have an interesting time. Right. All right. Now I'm gonna get back to my apartment because I think I'm uh, about to come down. Hey, real quick. Um, I have a a th this prosthetic, you know, is working fine now, but. You know, and Azora sort of like you know displaying her yeah oh, peg leg. Ooh, that's something to that's something else we should talk about here, just in case it's an option. We lost Azora lost a leg in the fight, just below the knee. But if you guys had a more, Hendrix just like scratches his head. That's rough. Well, dream bit. Well, I I know transfiguration. Uh, but, uh, then Calderon immediately just, uh, slaps his, slaps his face a little bit and just says, Well, Harapool Industries is the leading company in cybernetics and robotics. So, if you need anything involving metal bits that move, we're gonna help you. Alright? You just, you, you have something to bring up. I'm coming down. I need to get out of here. Cyber um, met it, 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 who should I talk to then about uh me tomorrow okay yeah and he just kind of just bails immediately I hope he remembers having this conversation tomorrow 
Yeah, Hendrix looks at him going and says, No, he he will. He will. Good. He, uh, he tends to remember things better uh, after like a fairy death, actually. Oh. So, I'm going to have to... Um, uh, so, uh, I'll be helping you out over to the board meeting tomorrow. Right. In the meantime, you all should, uh... What time is that meeting? Uh, that'll be at, uh, two in the afternoon. Okay. We'll see if we can't get something for my leg in. I'm gonna need some new armor, too. Well, uh, I doubt there'll be any. I doubt anything will come to blows. Even though they'll be cornered there. No one, that, 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 no one's gonna want to take their side. <clears throat> we can pump them for information. And, uh... In fact, actually, it would look better if you didn't come with some sort of prosthesis. Because if they look at you looking like that, they're gonna know it wasn't just, uh... construction going on in that district. Right. Come looking messed up as possible. Got it. Just grin and bear it. I'll wait to shower till after the meeting, then keep as much of the dried blood on. Oh, that geez. should add to the effect. It would add to the effect. And, uh, yeah, he just gets up. Well, sleep as best you can. I'll try. Alright, yeah, see you tomorrow. That. Yep. That he makes a please, and uh, yeah, you have the rest of the day and the night uh, to uh, <clears throat> do your best to stabilize, recover, and uh, talk things out. Alrighty. We just got this whole garage to hang out in. Yes. Time yeah, garage. Azor probably just needs, you know, Spicy soup and bed rest as much nice. as she can, and you know, it's not gonna be walking around much. I think Aegis sits down and trot and reads fucking ops and tactics. <laughs> Hells yeah. He's just scanning that cover to cover after that fight. Mm. Trying to finish it. Alrighty, so that'll be like a whole night of rest then. Uh, do you want to end session here, actually? Yeah, I that's, think it's a good, yeah. that's a good end point. Yeah. Yeah, the big, Wait, the big so, uh, social thing is, tomorrow, is, is the next session. Yeah. yeah. So that's half health <clears throat> to recover? Yes. I forget, is that rounding up or down? Uh, round up. Okay. 17 health. Half of my health is still significantly more health than Felina has in total. Yep. So, uh, who has Bond to update? I don't know. Oh, I'm pretty sure I do. I'm gonna delete your tactical map there. Yeah, it was very useful. It actually kind of was, because it reminded me of the second big magic that uh. helped us out. Uh... I actually don't think I have any PC bonds to update this session. I oh, thought I would, wow. but reading them over, I don't really think I do. I have one with Aegis that might have updated. Aegis's lead saved Nostra's life when hasty action could have doomed her, and I've been hasty in the past. I hope he can continue to protect us. I think there's something there, but I need to like figure out what it is. I think it, it might is. be the fact that like you... Like, we're in a state where you just completely ignored his orders, but it worked out, yeah. and he's even told you as much. Yeah. That, in, that Azora did with, just sort yeah. of... This was a case where quick yeah. action, you know, ended up being... Yeah. Ended up working. And he did tell you that, like, like, yeah. it, like deep down, he did actually trust that uh, with the action you took, even if it disobeyed, would work out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Lazar feels pretty good, though, having, you know, feels defeated a, a, a foe that was a particularly scary, oh god, I, I, I think I'm about to die 
type situation. Well, she didn't defeat it. Well, you know, but like we as a group did. <laughs> True. And I'm like Azora, think. you know, yeah, like it's, Azora it's, it's kind just of vindicates you, like vindicates you, like you know, like it just just means that like if fucking if if Shoddy had just been <laughs> a magic powerhouse, none of that would have happened. <laughs> This, I almost feel like there's something here, but I can't quite word it. I did see us all through it, not, well, not intact, but alive. <laughs> That's yeah. the problem, it's the word that, intact. Well, that wording, that was, for, yeah. for, that was wording you chose. It was portentous, <laughs> that wording. <laughs> like, I feel like there's something there, I don't have to word it, because really, the only thing I can think of is... I hope we don't face something like that again, which is kind of shitty, because it's like... <laughs> the fact is, no one died, and that means this can't really progress yeah. yet. The fact that no one died, uh, uh, Azora was surprised by in a good way. Like, Azora, when she went to tackle Nostrea, like, Azora kind of thought she was about to die in that moment, and then the fight from there on out was just like... Thinking, oh god, I'm probably about to die. I just want to, like, Yeah, that was, that was an entire fight of close calls, like, the entire yeah. time. Like, at any moment, like, one wrong move, one of one, someone would have died. Yeah, and, and the fact that that didn't happen, Azora considers a big success. The only time Aegis came, nearly came close to death was when he tried to do that to certain realities role and just hesitated for a moment to scan the battlefield and that was well shit one second yeah. not not moving but I don't know if there's much to take away from that there's like, a meta yeah, like lesson Nost of never discern yeah. realities you had Nostrea one second being uh, decapitated it's like, actually, like, like, like three twice. times over yeah twice oh. yeah Corum, uh, one second away from being eviscerated. Uh, Jailbird is shot in the shoulder. Uh, God, Anna... I can't fucking imagine if Nostrea had yeah. just been fucking decapitated. Yeah. That would have been, yeah. We're, if Nostria dies during a fight, are you just gonna give Azora just an ongoing plus one until the person that killed them is dead? <laughs> it's like... She just temporarily gains Akira's move. <laughs> she, she, like she she just, yeah, she die. just can't die until yeah. whoever killed Nostria is fucking dead. Actually, Azora kind of does have that. <laughs> of course. Oh, I'll be. Yeah. I mean, granted, I don't know how much help it would have been in that fight where it's like, it, it it's the the instantly cut through you like butter guy. I don't think a move saying you keep fighting on zero HP until the fight's over. I don't think that. Well, until you fall, um, and I think like even with my I'm standing and will not fall. I think if he just cuts through me enough, that counts as me falling. You know, <laughs> for for the purposes of that move, You're just a black knight, Monty Python. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Does that bond advance, I guess? No, I can't really think of anything for, like, anything meaningfully gotcha. advanced for it yet. Okay, how about you, Axe? Um, I don't know. I don't think Axe's bond has really changed much. Uh, no, it hasn't. No. With a player or NPC, no. Oh, so yeah. I don't think... It, it was just sort of the culmination of uh, the yeah. assault yeah. to the push exactly. to the lab. So, yeah. Bond. Blah, 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 blah. Well, so, yeah. I have a new, I guess I could add a new bond just for flavors. Skinner is bad. I hate Skinner. <laughs> Why Skinner specifically? I don't know. He rubs the axe the wrong way. <laughs> he does work for Nemo, so. Yeah. Yeah. I he turned coat. To pretty hard. Yeah, but X is like, you know, you're uh, 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 see through you. But yeah. You promised so, no. to let him go. Yeah. Axis is all over. 
You've done mind. Anyway, did you crush people, someone who's anyone who stood in your way? Yes, li quite literally twice. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah, stomped on people. Way to go. I'm uh, fucking... you know, it's you amazing. Know, it's just a master at work whenever like yeah, you play. Like, you know, I decide to be easy on myself. You should like, become an alignment. Yeah, it's a good thing. Like, and you. If you became an actor, He's like, a God, Sweden would not be able to handle you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Did Did Angus endanger himself to make a plan succeed? Yeah, he did. He went yeah. through the portal with that guy. Exactly. Yeah, like you're really putting in the work now. You're Roll doing playing. it, Snake. You're fucking doing it, Snake. Yeah, oh, I love being consistent consistent lately. too. It's amazing. Very consistent lately. It's very good. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, Azora, did you defend those weaker than? Uh, yeah, yeah. Save, saved Nostria from from the big splat. Okay, I want to make an argument. I don't know. Me. She defeated the armor, and you didn't. So she might. Lose wow. You. Yeah, she that's true. Lose. And you, you're a cripple. <laughs> you're a cripple now. Damn, I crazy. wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> when I defended her. I, I think she's actually stronger you. than you. She defeated the. Uh... She defeated. She the hadn't girl. defeated it. She wasn't able to defeat it when it was about to kill her, and I defended oh. her from that. Okay, uh, take it. It it take doesn't it. matter. I'm not leveling up anymore. <laughs> I don't even need uh, to roleplay anymore. I'm maxed did out. Did we learn something new and important about the world? We learned that you can slice electrons. I, I mean, yeah, that's just common knowledge. We learned what splitting the atom does in Hemlock. Nor it, it doesn't cause a nuclear split. It just like you know you can teleport. That's what it's like. The hand. Fuck! What did we learn? Anything? We got all the. I mean, we learned Miller, but that's not important to the setting. That's important to us. Yeah. I don't know if we did learn I don't anything. Think we did. Yeah. We learned nothing we didn't this learn session. Much. This was a non-learning session. We learned a lot about prosthesis and reattachment <laughs> magic. The end. Suppose. How sad. Yeah. Well, Tragic. Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Yes. Yeah. Yes. For pain. Slice like butter. That suit disintegrated because you knew we would ask, so can we take it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the power of Azora in that armor. Did we loot a memorable treasure? No. No, you made oh, it we looted all the We looted all you the looted documents. You looted the proof. Yeah, you looted the proof. We got oh, yeah, the proof. We, did. Yeah. We, we What's the opposite the of looting? Because we did that with Azora's leg. No, we took I'm it. Say, I'm gonna say yes. You, you have you, you looted that contract. All we've, that evidence. We've got Thank evidence. That. Yeah, and take an XP for playing. Well done. Well game. You did it. No, we, we did, did it. it. We did it. We did it. Congratulations. We did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, Congratulations. You know, like Skinner and the hand crush guy. We're really freaking out about that dude, like, being there with him. Oh, he's so dangerous. He's so savage. You know, like, okay, yeah, he did chop off Azora's leg, but he didn't, like, blast rope in her brain through her eye socket or anything. So, like, you know, he could have been a lot worse. He uh, didn't maybe rape they anyone. Maybe do that to other people. Maybe. He didn't do it to us, though. I haven't seen him do it. Well, it's going to be unfortunate if it turns out he has done that to other people. <laughs> it's going to 